Assalamu alaikum I am Dr Junaid Jahangir Abasi and today we have a one and a half month old boy and he presented to me with a rash on the scalp behind the ears on the neck and in the nappy area this video is being made after taking permission from the mother just to help students what is seborrheic dermatitis when i examined the child the skin of his scalp was like this you can appreciate that there are flaky scales it has itching the other lesions were red also this is seborrheic dermatitis it can cause redness on light skin children and light patches can be seen on darker skin children it is also called dandruff it is also called cradle cap seborrhea and it is sometimes also called seborrheic eczema and seborrheic psoriasis mostly it occurs in the parts of the body which are oil producing like scalp like face and like chest dandruff is also a term used with this type of rash but dandruff has no inflammation the difference between seborrheic dermatitis and dandruff is that dandruff don't have inflammation whereas seborrheic dermatitis has inflammation this seborrheic dermatitis spreads specially behind the ears as you can see that the part of the child behind the ears is severely affected the other ear is behind the skin behind the ear is also affected yes pain it it can also spread to the neck like you can see that it is involving the neck folds it can come to the face also like if you see the eye brows are involved and the part just behind over the eyes is also affected so face scalp the place behind the ears and the neck they are commonly involved and it can spread to the chest also and in our case the nappy area is also involved you can see that the whole nappy area is also involved the overall skin is dry and it is scaly Now if you find this case in your exam let's suppose in a short case then you should have three differential diagnoses in your mind number 1 is psoriasis number 2 is atopic dermatitis and number 3 is tinea capitis if the examiner asks you about the risk factors poor immune function is one risk factor the winter environment is another risk factor and infection with malassezia yeast is another risk factor if somebody asks you to describe the rash then you can say that it is an itchy rash with flaky scales with flaky scales mostly present at the scalp behind the ears or the eyebrows face in the folds of the neck and in the nappy area my the di diagnosis is seborrheic dermatitis and my three differentials are number 1 psoriasis number 2 atopic dermatitis and number 3 tinea capitis then he will ask you how would you like to treat so i would like to give a combination of antifungal cream along with 
anti-inflammatory like steroid cream when most of the children they are cured with a combination of antifungal cream and anti-inflammatory cream like steroid in some cases coal tar can also be used and in a few cases phototherapy can also be used in the treatment so i hope this video will help you in understanding what is seborrheic dermatitis and how it looks like and how you have to treat it thank you so much